What up, ladies and gentlemen? Is your friend Speedrun here? And today we are learning how to use Object Edit in Brow Edit 3. Let's open our Brow Edit 3 and make it full screen. And here, let's open a map. I'm opening Prontera for this example. Okay, perfect. Let's start by going to object mode here or short for F3. Once you select object mode, you'll notice your panel has changed. And here you can see all the models in your map. Got it? And you can click here and see where they are as well. Let's open any other model. So there is a similar flag to this in the panel here, GL2. Down here has a flag. It's not the same, but will serve as example. I can simply click on the 3D here and paste it here just by left click. And uh, we, we're going to start to learn about these settings. We have position, which if I move, it goes like that. And if I hold shift or holding here shift, you can see that the model has um, like fixed positions as well. I can scale and when you scale, we should Check this option so you can scale proportionally. Mm. And we have rotation. We can rotate that way. We can rotate this way. I think we can give negative values. Um, not really for this one. So we can rotate this way and like this. Okay. Now we have animation so 3d models that has animation in it i don't recommend you change this value but um, you can play with it and try anything down here i do not suggest you touching it now object edit edit tools uh, you have an option for copy or you can control c and control v so i can control c here control v there here it gets all the properties from the previous copy. And you can delete here or by using delete key on the keyboard. Yes. And we have flip horizontally and vertically, which does nothing really. And then invert scale. You can see that invert scale X is using this way. So it's inverting from here to there or there to here. And invert scale Y. It's basically flipping our model upside down. And we have invert scale Z, which is this way. Basically, everything you see this side turn out to this side. And it's not really useful in this case. Um, we can create prefabs. So for example, I have a panel down here, which called prefabs. And here's a fountain.json, which do not click it. My brow edit crashed when I click on it. So we can create prefab for this one, for example. And let's change here the scale. I will uncheck this. And you can see that I will scale like that. And let's say this is the model I want to save as a prefab to use later on. Okay, so what you can do, you can, I uh, believe, you can right click on it or you can come to this panel and choose create prefab or right here create prefab. And for example, this is the flag, flag tutorial. And now I click create and it's already right here, flag tutorial. Now if we navigate it, to our folder of Brow Edit and open our data and prefabs. Here we have our flag tutorial that has just been created. I can open the text um, 
file here on Notepad, and I can just drag this this flag tutorial. You can see that simply changing simply changing the values for me saving here. So once I go back to my Brow Edit, I click on the flag tutorial, and there it is. We have the same uh, dimensions and information of this part. And to delete this, you can simply come here and delete this file. Perfect. Now we have covered this part and let's just delete this and make a copy of this for now. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V and when I paste is already uh, on our level. Okay, very easy, very easy. And let's check this. So what's happening is just uh, bringing there and here like by some proportional values. Or if you click shift, you do the same thing. And the same way going up and going down, which is helpful in some cases. And then um, seems pretty much the same as everything, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, what happened if I select this? If this is turned on, they will rotate on themselves. And here we will rotate on the road. Just like that. Yep. Um, rotate negative. Yes, yeah, you can see there is a difference right there. So it depends what you want. Like if you want to rotate these trees, you can turn on this option uh, like this, and you can rotate them in their own places, right? Randomize rotation up for the Y. So it's rotate. All the trees, usually when you copy and paste, they look the same here and there and there. So what you can do is select them, keep this option like that, and then rotate uh, Y, and they all rotating randomly, and they will look different from each other. Very useful, and I like that one. We covered everything here. You can see that this does that and perfect. Now we can um, highlight the object in picker. Let's try that option. So if I right click on the object, he'll tell me where is the object at. And it's right here. And I can right click on it and I can add a tag to it. For example, I have imported my own 3D models here, speed run. And I have a few more which I just added yesterday. So I can go to edit and global settings. Right here, I need to add a new GRF. I need to bring this up, up, up. And then I need to put this and alter this to speed bro. Okay, and I go down here and save. When I save it, you can see my 3D models are here. Automatically found them. And for example, I have this SpongeBob. And I want to scale the SpongeBob first and rotate him. And now I want to create a tag. So I can right click on it and create a tag. Um, create tags, create tags. Ah, it's in the, uh, it should go in the panel here. Right click and then create tag. So when you are on the tag, you can say, for example, 
sponge or just sponge bob okay and then i can click add and has been added it's hidden here uh, but if i go here and say sponge bob you can see that i already found my my tag and if i go back here and say um, so i can click on this model right and i can right click and i can say all right there is a name so i can just click add and now it's also on spongebob i can click remove tag if i want but now if i go spongebob you can see that he already found that um that for me which is the tag uh quite convenient you can select 3ds that you play, thinking of making a map so i go to this folder and say oh i want this in my map just add the tag and then you can go down here right click and add the tag and later you can say the map name and you can see all the 3ds that you want to add on your map which is really convenient and i like that okay so far so good now um there is a way to replace the 3d models so i have the, the model so i right click and select same and now i go here to any 3d that i like for example this this one and then i right click and replace selected models and you can see all the 3ds has been replaced automatically so i can right click uh on one of them and say select same and i can go here to rotation tool you can see that and now i can keep this on and rotate them like that uh, i can now say rotate uh, randomized rotation i also can say that i can scale them you see so it's pretty easy to to use this brow edit you can do a lot with it instead of replace three by three you just with one click you can you can fix that cool um what else what else so if i right click what else i have here select this model actions tag and there is a tag here yeah so they already have a tag and that's pretty much it if you want to learn how to convert 3d models i'll link a card on top right of the the video here and you can you can simply learn how to convert 3d models to do that you need to use brow edit 586 and i have a video on that uh, you can watch it and that's how i bring my 3d models right now i'm working on the spongebob map uh, so i will be releasing this map for free as well you can check my future videos to know when that's out remember to subscribe and i'll see you soon peace